Hello, my friends. I hope you're having an outstanding, fabulous day. And if you have not, please, boom, smash that subscribe. Click on the like, click on the bell. Today, we're doing a video, not a bike review, not a bike unboxing. We're doing a scooter review, a scooter unboxing. Although not really unboxing because uh, it was so easy to get out and the box was pristine and packaged well uh, that there was no drama there. And you say electric scooter? Yes. Thank you very much, JCSD. That's the company that sent me the scooter. They sent me the scooter for free. In my description, there is going to be a coupon code so you can save $30. Dollars. No affiliate link, but they did send me the scooter for free. And before I accepted the scooter, I did some research like I always do. And JCSD, a company that has been selling electric scooters and electric bikes for several years. They're based out of China. They've been primarily selling in France. Parlez-vous Francais. And now they're breaking into the American market. If you go to jcsd.shop, you will see that they have entry-level scooters, which is what I have here today. And they also have high-end scooters and bicycles. They have a warehouse in the United States and an office in the United States. And so the great thing about the company is that they have things, they have the products in stock. And if you order, depending on where you live, you will get it in six to under 12 days. I got mine in less than, I think, 10 days. I got my scooter from when they first contacted me. And what am I reviewing today? I am reviewing the JCSD X10. And there's a few, there's three really big reasons why I said, you know what, I'm going to do this. One, with the coupon code, this scooter is only $369. Free shipping, no taxes. The other couple reasons. It only weighs 33 pounds, so you can easily carry it up steps, maneuver, throw it in your car, take it anywhere. Unlike some other scooters that weigh 70, 80 or more, this is something that anybody can carry, young or old, and it folds up to make it super easy. And then the other thing is that it is UL2272 and UN slash DOT, 38.3 approved. What does that mean? It means it has gone through rigorous testing for electrical and battery safety. So not only is it great value, I'm going to tell you about the features, great value for the price. The company is up to date with technology and UL certifications and protections. And it comes with the ability to use an app so that you can control the functions and change the functions from your phone as well as from the screen. So let's get into it. So here is the scooter. And the only thing that you have to do when you get it, it comes out of the box pretty easy because it's so light. You have to latch the upper and then you have to connect the electrical connection and then insert the handlebars into the stem. And then it comes with the hex tool and four screws. So we're going to do that. When I got the bike, it already came connected. So I just verified that it was tight and I'm getting ready to install that. It comes with the charger. It comes with a very clear, uh, concise manual on how to put together and how to operate the functions and also safety instructions. And then it comes with, as I told you before, it has the UL certifications and the United Nations Department of Transportation safety certifications. And it comes with this book for the Bluetooth. And it also has a QR code that you can scan for a couple more instructions on the bike and inside here we'll get into there's a QR code that you can scan or you can go to the uh, for Android Apple Play Store or for the Apple the Apple Store and download the app 
and I've done that, put that in my phone, and I'll show you how it all hooks up. All right. You want to make sure your connections are tight, which they are. You want to push the cable down into the riser. Simply insert, and that's all you have to do. All right, comes with four screws. They already have a little bit of blue Loctite on there, so they don't come loose. Two in the front, two in the back. They give you a nice little tool to put them in. And I like to get them all started first. Tighten each one up just a little bit and then tighten all of them down how tight real tight and this is the JCS D X 10 and again $369 to your door, no taxes, no shipping. So this scooter, why do I think that it is a great value besides the technology and the UL safety certifications? It's got a 500 watt motor, a 36 volt 10 amp battery, which is built into the scooter. So when you charge, there's a port right here waterproof port that you plug in and that's where you charge it top speed is around 22 miles per hour and total distance that you can travel again dependent on weight and terrain about 22 miles and yes this is not a 60 volt 40 plus mile an hour scooter this is a scooter that anybody can ride. Even if you have never ridden a scooter, it is so gentle and it is only 33 pounds. So you wanna to run to the neighbor's house, you just jump on a scooter and then run to the neighbor. You wanna throw it in your vehicle uh, in case you're at a park or when I go on appointments, I get there early sometimes, 30 to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour early. I'm going to throw this in the vehicle in my car and uh, it'll go in the trunk it'll go in the back seat it'll, it'll go in the front and then i'll be able to just cruise around and have some fun while i wait for my appointment perfect for students because of the weight and i'm going to show you how it folds up it'll fit in a locker it'll fit in the campus you want to run to the store you can take it in the store it's not going to be heavy to push around uh, and so that is one of the best features is its compactness and the weight. The tires, you're looking at 10 inch tires, no tubes. So you do not need to worry about flat outs or flats, which is incredible. And the weight, 264 pounds. So this will hold, this will hold someone my size, even a little bit bigger than me you want to ride in the rain or you get stuck in the rain you can do that because it is ipx5 waterproof it has some suspension some shocks on the front uh, to help you with bumps plastic fender plastic fender so you don't have to worry about noise 120 millimeter rear disc brake rotor which is perfect for a lightweight scooter like this has a kickstand which you saw it sitting on the front this is ingenious the front when you release the throttle it has electric braking in the front regen so as soon as you take your hand off the throttle the scooter is already slowing you down without you having to use the rear brake because it's got a front electronic brake, which is just brilliant. It has blinkers in the end. 
So you can see them from this way and they actually shine out. It has a nice little light, which is actually bright. And then of course it has your reflectors and it's got reflectors on the body of the scooter in different places so that if for some reason you want to ride at night uh, or in low light you will be visible it also has a brake light and we're going to test all those and i'll show you how they all work including the handlebar set up the cockpit area so to speak the other good thing they put a reminder up here on the stem telling you to make sure the cable's connected which is smart now to fold this bike up there's a lever on the front there's a little switch on the right hand side you push up you pull down this is your safety connection and then it folds right down and on the rear, on the rear, there's a little clip. And there's a clip here on the handlebar that locks into that little hump on the rear fender. And now the bike is folded up. So you can see how compact that is. Now with it folded up, easy to carry, very lightweight, one arm. So this is easy to carry up the steps. Uh, if you're in an apartment or uh, even a two-story house or whatever, easy to carry, throw in the vehicle, piece of cake. And then to lock it, you come to the rear fender, press on the little clip, pull it up to the front, and then all you gotta do, lock. And now the front's locked. And you see how easy it is just to pick it up like this. That's one of the most impressive features uh, that amazed me with the scooter was Oh, it's so light it's easy now if we look at the cockpit we have some nice rubber comfortable grips throttle this is the catch so that you lock it on the rear fender nice big display blinkers bell Rear brake, blinker, blinker. Control button to turn on and change the speed modes. It has three speed modes, speed mode one, two, and three. And we will check uh, how fast. Speed mode one, I believe goes six miles an hour. Speed mode two, 12, and speed mode three up to 22. And this is for the lights and to uh, check your trip meter. So to turn it on, one, hold the button, and there is the display. So you have miles per hour, which you can change it to kilometers by hitting this button twice. But you have miles per hour, you have your battery level, you have your trip distance now, you see the scooter and you see the Bluetooth blinking. To turn on your lights, one press. And you can see that that's pretty bright. That's a pretty bright light. To turn it off. And then if you hit this button for blinkers, right blinker. left blinker so coming from the front 
ingenious, you can see that there's a hole in the end. So people can see a little orange flashing from the front, and then you can see it. It's pretty bright on the side. To change the mode, it's in mode one. Press a button. Mode two. Press a button. Mode three. It's also set up for kickstart, meaning you have to kick off and then hit the throttle for it to go. So if you hit the throttle now, it will not go. But you can change this setting with the app so that if you touch this without even moving the scooter, it'll take off. It's kind of a safety feature. So you can have it as a zero start or a kickstart, uh, however you want. And you can see how the odometer, how it changed to, how it changed from trip to odometer by hitting that light button twice. And there it changed to voltage, which is another good feature. So it's fully charged at 42 volts. Hit it twice again, and you're at time. Twice again, you're at your trip distance. And twice again, you're at the odometer. So this light button lets you scroll through. The voltage is really kind of cool. Uh, I don't think you see that in a lot of low-end scooters. Uh, so you can match the voltage with your battery bars. So that's really a, a pretty cool feature too. All right, the headlight is very bright. One click, boom. And the brake light. When you turn the headlight on, you get the rear light. And then when you put the brakes on, you get a flashing light, which is brilliant uh, because that definitely catches people's attention. So that's light on, brake light, and then light on. And then I told you before, the other great feature is the app. And this is what the headlight looks like in the dark. So that's pretty bright. And the rear light, pretty bright. And the brake light, very visible. And the blinkers. So, if you did want to ride in the evening, you definitely would be visible. Good blinkers, good brake light, good tail light, and uh, outstanding headlight. It's actually probably brighter than the light that's on my Roxy, uh, my $3,000 e-bike. So, great job, JCSD. So with the app, you turn the bike on and you see the Bluetooth blinking. And then the app, you either scan the QR code that comes in the manual, or you go to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. I went to the Google Store and I downloaded the app, which is called Lenzod Pro. You open up the app. It wants to find the bike or the scooter. You hit search. And then it pops up HLX10, hit connect, and you're connected. And then the Bluetooth is now solid. And with the app, you can control the lights, 
Turn the light on. Turn the light off. You can see the voltage, your speed, which you can change to kilometers, your total distance. You can lock the bike if you want to. And from the app, you can lock the bike. So if you want to prevent anybody in your household from using it, maybe somebody who's too young, click on the padlock. Now you see that the screen is locked. Good safety feature and good theft feature. Now, could someone still steal the bike? Of course, it only weighs 33 pounds. One of the best features. But all they will have is a 33 pound weight because they will not be able to use it. And you click on the lock and you're back again. And in the app, you click on the settings, you can change, you can name your scooter, you can change the speed, you can change the start mode. I told you, you can have a non-start or kick-start, meaning right now it's set up, it will not work without kick, without putting your foot on a start, moving it manually. You can change that so that as soon as you do this, it'll take off and you do that right through the app. It also, uh, you can put on cruise control. Now, you can see the little cruise control, just like an icon in a car is on. You touch the app, and you take that off, and now it's gone. And you can do all that through the app. All right. All right, I just changed the start mode to zero start. Now, if you just give it a little bit of throttle, the scooter takes off. And so I'm gonna put it back on non-zero start, meaning you have to kick it. So the app allows you to change settings and control the features with regards to the display and the different settings. All right, my friends, we are on the JCSDX10. Super lightweight, 33 pound scooter that goes up to 22 miles an hour. And I've been riding it around and uh, mode one, six miles an hour, mode two, 12 miles an hour, and then mode three, almost up to 20 with me, but I am uh, near the max weight limit of 264. But uh, it's pretty easy. I have it set in kickstart so that you must get moving before the throttle kicks in. You can change that. Uh, I will tell you that we're in mode one now. Um, um, my sidewalks are not as dangerous as maximum charge EVs sidewalks because uh, I pay high taxes for better sidewalks, uh, but they're a little bumpy. But uh, the front double shock system, it's actually works pretty good and uh the tires this is like perfect for scooting around the neighborhood on the sidewalks we're gonna go in the street it'll be a little bit smoother but uh as you can see mode one i have not been on a scooter in decades like decades upon decades and uh i practiced for two minutes in my garage with no power on and then power and then we take our Take off the throttle, we can feel us slowing down. And I already tested the brakes. The brakes are super good. So very impressive uh, so far. We're gonna go back up the hill and see how it works. All right, you saw the speed we're going in mode one. We're gonna go back up in mode one. We're gonna get some kick starting. I press down the, I always press down the throttle while I'm kick starting and then it kicks in. And here we go, up the hill. It's actually a pretty... <sighs> the GoPro does not do hills justice. 
Is this a 10% grade? No. Is this a hill? Yes. Is it taking my 260 five pound butt uh, up the hill with no problem? Yes, seven miles an hour actually. And uh, again, not having been on a scooter in decades, pretty cool. Let's switch to two. Now we're in mode two. S slowly picking up speed. Is it a rocket ship like a 40 mile an hour scooter? No. Is this perfect for a young person, especially a first scooter? Yes. You can see how we get on level ground, how the speed's picking up. We're doing 11. That's mode two. We're in mode three. We are doing, I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see. We're doing 14 and running out of roadway. Perfect for someone who has never ridden. I'm just coasting to a stop with the front electric brake, which is brilliant. I didn't have to use the rear brake. Front electric brake, no maintenance item. There's nothing to be done. And if you use that and coast to a stop like I did, uh, you, they're mechanical disc brakes in the rear, but you will not have to do much adjustment or anything with them uh, if you utilize the e-brake from the front. So that was pretty cool. Yes, this bike is easy to ride. Have not been on a bike or scooter in decades. And within five minutes, I'm going up and down my bumpy let me let you see speed in mode three i have the throttle down thumb throttle and i'm kicking that's the easiest way for me to start off i was thinking about changing it to automatic start but i don't think so i think it this is pretty easy so we're topping out at 18. Fourteen, and we're running out of space. See how the e-brake stops us? I'm not even using the rear brake. And easy to turn, even for a newbie. Got a little bit of bend in my knees. I have my left foot near the rear and my right foot perpendicular, like I'm surfing, even though I can't surf. So we hit, uh, what did we hit, 18. Uh, again, I think if you if you were a light, if you were a light rider, would you hit the 22? Yeah. We're topping out. Oh, we hit 19 for a second. So that's where we're kind of topping out. And we got a car coming. pretty good on hills in Cecil County Maryland now we've already made it up this hill before albeit slow like this a 200 pound individual or lighter uh, definitely will be maxing out the um, well, I should go someplace different this time we already went down this way uh, we'll be maxing out the distance and the speed It's, it, it is so gentle on the acceleration that you are not going to be bucked off like a horse. And so, again, I say, for a young person or for someone who has not ever ridden a scooter or for someone like me who has not been on a scooter in years, this is perfect. This will let you get your 
uh, sea legs back, so to speak. We've gone a couple miles, probably a couple miles, and we've used up a bar. But again, the test will be the voltage. Very, very, very gentle ride. And the e-braking and the rear brake is just outstanding. The e-braking is brilliant and, and works pretty good too. And just by coasting, uh, going over some bumps, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Front little sh spring shocks work pretty good. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now we're gonna go back up the little hill we went down. Going along about 12 miles an hour. Again, for the price, uh, why is this car coming over so far? For the price, that's the ticket. We're coming up to so actually 13 miles an hour. Uh, for $369, no tax, free shipping, uh, this is a cool little mobility device. Cool little electric mo mobility device. Hi there. And we're matching up perfectly with the speed camera. Right there. My display says 13 and we were doing 13 on the camera. So the display is accurate. My overall thoughts, <sighs> great value. 500 watt, 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery, the ability to go speed mode one, two, and three, the ability to use the app to change settings, to lock out the bike, the fact that it is only 33 pounds and it's so easy to fold up it's easy it's going to be easy for anybody to put in a vehicle carry up the steps and um, it is just a great scooter to learn on a great scooter to move around on if you don't want to spend a lot of money so thank you again jcsd for pr allowing me to review your product the x10 and help spread the word on the product the quality construction was excellent the lighting was excellent the motor quiet as a church mouse the brakes outstanding the regen electric brake in the front brilliant i don't have any ding whatsoever if i had to even the bell if i was going to make any complaint and i wouldn't make it if somebody would be like i want a faster scooter well jcsd.shop they have faster scooters this is our entry level. This is for fat old men who haven't ridden a scooter in decades or young person who you don't want to be flying around 30 miles plus an hour or uh, somebody who just wants to be budget, a budget friendly skew scooter. So that is my review. I love it. If you have any questions, please email me. Uh, let me know what you think about the scooter. Let me know what you think about the review. Let me know what you think about my new GoPro 12. And I'll be happy to answer any questions, comments. And if you have not, please, boom, smash that subscribe. Click on that like and click on the bell. I love you all. See ya.